backgammon, golf, tennis, cribbage, football, fantasy football. They're all games. It's only a fucking game. But, 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 the thing about games are when you are competing in these games, and you're good, you're really, really good, and you enjoy it, you have fun, and especially when you do really well and you play some sort of event and you win and it's just like, oh man, you get the satisfaction that you had a strategy, you executed it, and it was successful. See, what I've noticed in every sort of form of competition, I named like six games, I can name thousands and thousands of different games, is that when you're really, really good at them, that you want to try to compete to the highest level. Now, as I'm doing this video, it is Sunday, and I think it's the 12th day of May, 2013. And uh, it's about 10.45 a.m., and at 11 a.m., so about 15 minutes from now, a poker championship series starts. And I made a prediction years and years ago when uh, poker stars would no longer accept United States uh, players due to, of course, uh, federal governments, it's uh, another story there, that there would hardly be anyone playing. And yet, the average size tournaments that I have played this year is like 4,500 people. And the one that I'll be playing in a few minutes will have about 15,000 people. And they have multiple different levels. After all, when you're trying to compete at the highest level, just that, you're, you, you want to go as high as you can. There's the low level, medium level, and high level. And Well, I'm stuck playing the low level, but hey, that's fine. That's totally fine. But how this works is whoever does the best gets the most fiat currency, fiat debt notes, dollars. Now, all the games that I talk about, Poker, you can talk about chess, you can talk about video games on the internet or on your PlayStation 3. They're all voluntary. Voluntary. Yet, if you suck at the game, or if you just want to give it a shot, you can quit at any time. And if you, like again, if you realize you're really damn good at one of them and you want to see how far up the rung of the ladder you can go, then by all means, that's pretty fun. But there's also a game called Currency. Now the only difference within that, it's kind of involuntary. And it's, again, it's nothing more than a fucking game, but it's one that our lives all frickin' depend on, which is kind of sad. And, and if you suck at this game, if you suck at the game of Currency, the game of life, really, you're kind of screwed. And that's, that's totally... Sadding. It really, really is. Where if I'm playing someone in any other voluntary game and they suck at it, I'm going to try to kick your ass, no bones about it. I won't feel bad about doing such. But this whole currency game, again, is involuntary. And again, you try to go to the highest level that you can. And that's why they say your first million is much, much harder then your second and your third. And a lot of it is because how easy it is to increase capital when you have capital already. Another example of that is if you're doing poor in the game of currency and you need to get, say, a car to go from point A to point B and you don't have too much, you go out and get a loan, part of the game. And loans is really the killer within this game. So here you are buying, getting a loan, $20,000, we'll say, at 5% interest over five years. Yet, you got this person winning this fucking game of currency. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, a wager. I'm gonna make an investment, play the game, and just, I'm gonna make a investment. 20000 at at uh, 4% over five years. So really, he's taking the loan. And a little bit lower of an interest rate. Yeah, the bank, I guess, makes the vig. And, of course, you see how the end of that game will go out, of course. You get screwed. So the game also moves towards, and this one is voluntary, but you're kind, I'm kind of forced into it. The game of ending the Fed, ending the Bank of Canada, ending all fiat central banks, 
and in my preference, transition into an honest monetary system, and then later, decades afterwards, transition to a resource-based economy. That's the game of life that I'm forced into it so that you can eliminate this involuntary game that guarantees a mass amount of losers. Because in this poker game, the tournament that I'm playing today is $24.50 plus $2.45 rake, which means that the average person is going to lose 10% within this game. Or another way of putting it is that there's going to be about 10, 15% winners and about 80 or 85, 90% losers. And that's the way the game is played. Again, though, that one is voluntary, which I find very interesting to say the least. Okay. I said I wasn't going to do a video on the weekend, but I did. I wanted to. Thank you for tuning in. It was more of just a rant and uh, take care. Bye-bye.